Hi, welcome to the Home. This is Vicki. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to go over the um, Walmart wax, um, the review. Um, I'm sorry it took a while. It's just that, you know, with the holiday and also school starting. So I did uh, melt these with the Sensi 25 watt warmer and then also the halogen warmer for 25, it's 25 watts. And then also with the element warmer from Sensi, okay? And the best performance was actually on the halogen, but, um, you know, the 25 watt from Sensi was just as good, maybe just, you know, drop it maybe one point as far as throw. And then the halogen warmer, I will let you know that that does get really hot. So the scent, you know, permeates immediately. And I, it says that it doesn't last as long, but to me it lasted for, you know, at least eight hours or more. Most of these scents, I'll let you know which one it is and which ones are they and um, individually. And then also, um, I did notice that the halogen warmer needs to be cleaned because it starts starting to smell kind of, like, kind of burnt. So I am in the process of doing that, but let's go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to start off with the worst to the best, okay? Um, the worst one to me out of this bunch here is, um, which I was really surprised because it smelled pretty good on cold, is going to be Harvest Apple Picking. <laughs> I have to look over my notes, um, and I don't have my glasses, so just bear with me. But I can tell you this right off the bat, this one was the worst, only because... It smelled so like artificial apple. To me, it reminded me like an apple men's cologne that you buy like at a dollar store. <laughs> it just smells very cheap. Very, it's not good at all. It's just to me, it's the worst one of all. And like I said, I was really surprised because it smells pretty good on cold. But now that I, now that I um smell it, oh, it's not good. It's oh my gosh, this is the worst uh, worst scent nominee for me. Uh, it's not good at all. So it's harvest apple picking. It's not good. The throw was about a seven, and the appeal is a two, okay? Um, so that one's not any good. Um, Pisces, in which I was pretty surprised, and um, let me see, I have to look over my notes, but this one, I mainly just got a pecan note, and then also a little bit of a crust, just a tad of a pumpkin, and then it hardly had any spice. Um, it was just, I mean, not that I, I don't, I mean, I don't really like spicy scents, but it was just very, very mild as far as throw. The throw was maybe like a four, maybe a five. Um, maybe even up to a six if you put it in a halogen warmer. And so this one was, to me, this was a complete flop because of the scent. It was not, you know, the throw was very weak. And then also the scent was not that great. It's okay. I, I have others that are better. So this one was pie season. Yeah, I, it smells really good on cold, but I don't know. It, you know, I just didn't get a good throw on it. So that's the reason I don't like it. But it does have the pecan note, and it's pretty good. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not going to try it again. I'm not going to re repurchase it or anything. Then this one was another surprise, Cherry Berry. This one's a really good one. And I did melt it on, on its own, then I'll get, uh, and then also with the one that smells like pumpkin, pecan waffles, pumpkin, pecan waffles. And this one smells just like complete cherry Kool-Aid, and it's very one-dimensional, very bland, and then, which I knew that going in, but it's just not good. It smells kind of like medicinal in a way. I don't know, it's, it's very good. It's like, it smells really good on cold. It's like a very sweet, sugary cherry. It's really good on cold but once you melt it doesn't translate it smells very cheap definitely not something that I would repurchase and but it's something you could probably mix and I did try to mix it and I tried to you know I did like try to you know figure out a way to you know make make it work for me but I don't like it so this one definitely is not good for me so that was cherry berry and the next one is going to be I hope I'm going the right way yeah uh, midnight pumpkin patch this one was really good it's not like my favorite, but that's the reason it's on, you know, midway point. And this one was more like a pumpkin, kind of like a, a woodsy pumpkin. And the throw on this is going to be an 8. The appeal is about a, equal, about an 8. And so this one is a, probably a maybe as repurchase. But it's completely different than you, what you're used to as far as your pumpkin. Because it's kind of a little bit more dark, a little bit more, um, kind of like a, um, like an oud. I would, that's what I imagine an oud, kind of like a woodsy kind of thing. So it's like pumpkin with a woodsy undertone or, yeah. So this is pretty good. This one is probably, like I said, is a maybe. So that one is Midnight Pumpkin Putt. Midnight Pumpkin Patch. The next, next one is going to be Apple Crisp Tea. This one was good as well. This one was like the throw was about a 7. The peel is about, about a 7. And this one was just like a very nice apple scent versus the other one, the, the first one that I showed. This one smells pretty good. It does have the tea note in the bottom there. And the throw, like I said, is 7. This one's definitely something I would repurchase. And, and the apple is nice. It's not like... That other one that was like cheap and all that it was pretty gross but the next one is going to be this is a new one that i purchased i didn't put this in the haul but i decided to put a review here and this is the cinnamon ginger pumpkin this one's really good because you did get you do get the ginger you do get the pumpkin and it's really good the ginger is really nice it's not like too over, overpowering or anything like that 
to me it's more kind of like ginger bread and and the pumpkin of course this one's really good the throw is about an eight and it lasted quite a while and i, and I melted this on the sensi like i said sensi and, hal and the halogen 25 both and this one performed perfectly in the halogen warmer but like i said i need to clean it out it's pretty bad it needs to be yeah it needs to be cleaned um but this one's really good this one's definitely repurchased so cinnamon ginger pumpkin is a really good one then i say the throw is an eight the peel is an eight i think i don't know you get a nice cinnamon not really cinnamon you get more of the ginger you get a smooth pumpkin it's really nice so ginger pumpkin cinnamon ginger pumpkin is really good fall into autumn this one's a really good one as well this one's got mainly like the apple the eucalyptus a little bit of touch of pine and a little bit of cinnamon and i had said that said this kind of reminded me of leaves but to be honest now that I have both candles, I have autumn and leaves, it actually smells more like autumn because autumn has a little bit more of a cooling note. Mistakenly said leaves, but it's actually autumn. Okay, so this one smells more like autumn because the, the autumn has more of a cooling, which is eucalyptus, and then the leaves has more of the warm because it has like the warm clove spice, I think. So this one smells like leaves. I mean, oh my gosh. This, this one smells like autumn from Bath and Body Works. It's really good. Throw is about an 8, and the peel is a 9, because I love this scent for the fall season. So, this is a good one. Fall and Totem, definitely repurchase. And here's Apple Cookie Crunch. Like I said, these are all getting better as, you know, as, the, as they appear, okay? Apple Cookie Crunch is a really good one. The apple is really nice. It's got the cinnamon and sugar coating, and it's got the Cookie Crunch, which I love the Cookie Crunch on its own. It's really good. The throw is not that strong. It's about a 7 or 7.5, depending on what warmer you use. It's really good though. The appeal is definitely great. It's high up there. It's about a nine. This was definitely a repurchase. It's a really good one. I love Apple Cookie Crunch. And now this one is also didn't wasn't part of the haul, but I actually bought it. And this one, um, I don't know if it's new or not. I think I don't think it's new. But this is this is us, the spice of life. Now this one smells like a lot like fall into autumn. They kind of smell similar as far as you know because they have the eucalyptus. Yeah, they have the eucalyptus, the apple. So they kind of smell alike. But this one is a complete total scent beast. This one, I left home and I came back. I, I decided to. I'm going to light. I'm going to clean my warmer and I'm going to put these, you know, two wax in the warmer, the scentsy warmer, and it smelled up the whole house, like every inch of the house. Okay, so this is a great performer. This is definitely be purchased. I like. I have to hoard on this because it's a great one. I mean, they're both good, but this one to me was a little stronger. So this is us is a complete winner. I love that one. This one is good too. Maybe quite not as not. That's strong, but it's still good. The next one is pumpkin marshmallow topping. Now, this is the one I said it smells like pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Mighty Works. This one smells just like it. And a halogen warmer, it's got the same throw. It's like about a 9. It will blow you out, okay? But in the Scentsy warmer, it's about a 7.5 to an 8. It's still kind of strong, and it lasts forever. Like, it does not dissipate. It goes on and on and on. So pumpkin marshmallow topping is definitely repurchased because it smells exactly like pumpkin pecan waffles. Play performer it's mostly exactly like it there's a, there's a complete dupe of that oh my god i love it it may just be just a little smidgen not as intense but it's still pretty good it's still pretty good and it's still pretty intense so you can only take this in increments like the pumpkin pecan waffles and the um some boardwalk those two kind of like you kind of take it in you know small increments this is one of them so i kind of had to turn off the warmer because it's a little it's a little it's a little much after a while so this is a really good one though i definitely would purchase the throw is like I said is a nine, the peel is a ten, and the throw I mean uh, the throw is a nine, the peel is a ten, and there's definitely a repurchase for sure. Definitely I need these, I was gonna look for some more when I went last time, so but didn't have it. So pumpkin marshmallow topping is a really good one. Sorry about that. Now this one is a complete surprise. Okay, perfect pumpkin. Um this one is vanilla pumpkin cream. This is this this looks very unassuming, you know, doesn't look anything fantastic, it looks very common. You know, pumpkin, vanilla, okay, that's been overdone. But this one's a really, really nice one. I mean, this is a lot, like, I like some, I like this one more than a lot of the Bath & Body Works pumpkin candles. Like, that's the reason I haven't, I haven't really bought any um, candles from Bath & Body Works this fall. Because, first of all, I have plenty from last year. And there's not any that really call me, call my attention or really make me want to go run to the store to get them, to get it. So, this one is definitely along those lines as far as Bath & Body Works. This is what I wish they smelled like. Some of the candles are pretty, I don't know. I'm not very, very impressed with the this year's Bath & Body Works, to be honest. And that's the reason I haven't done a haul. But I do plan to do one, maybe two or three. You know, maybe try some new ones. I don't know. But the last time I went, I wasn't impressed. So I didn't buy any. So but anyways, per perfect pumpkin. Let me tell you, it's, it's like a pumpkin with a creamy, it's like a creamy pumpkin. It's really nice. Touch of cinnamon or maybe um, pumpkin spice. It's really great. The throw is great. It's like about eight. 
perfect amount and then the, it lasts forever too and this one I put it in the Sensi it lasts forever and then also in the halogen it's a great performer this one is the winner of the whole bunch which you know I didn't think it would be because it's nothing you know spectacular it's just pumpkin you know but it's a really good one it's a great great scent I love it and me and my sons we love this one this are one of our favorites of the house and this one does great as far as scent throw it travels to the to the kitchen into the other room so this one's a perfect one perfect pumpkin that's it perfectly and so this, those are great okay then I have two honorable mentions these are two of last year's but these are my favorites from last year the, one of them was the lemon pumpkin shortbread this is awesome this one's amazing this one smells just like a you know, like a lemon kind of like a citrusy citrusy I forgot what it I forgot how it went but uh, people say this one's like fruity pebbles but I don't really get that I just kind of but um it's just such a good one. This one was really, really good. The great the throw on this was, I think, I think it was an 8. 7 to an 8. The peel is a 9. It's a great one. This is my favorite. One of my favorites for fall. And this one is a really good one, too. It's a thankful harvest. It's one of my favorites for the fall. It's just a perfect one to put, you know, during Thanksgiving. It's such a great pumpkin with the spices, but not too much. And a little sweetness. Um, it's not too spicy. It's not sweet, really, but... It's more like pumpkin with a pumpkin spice, and it's just like kind of creamy, I guess, is what I'm looking for. But this one was one of my favorites from last year, so it's a thankful harvest. And um, the lemon shortbread, I think I've already discussed that. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching, and you have a great day. All right? Bye-bye.